We are getting fancy today, talking about the luxury skincare that, shockingly enough, I actually think is worth the price and that, yes, I have bought or would buy. And this is shocking because luxury beauty, like why are we spending hundreds of dollars on products that literally have expiration dates once they open? And especially most luxury products just have fancier packaging and the ingredients aren't even that much better. If you have sunscreen, retinoids, and ceramides in your routine, you are pretty good to go. So why do we need a $482 package of whipped sea foam? Like, I'm sorry, explain to me why the sodium in this is worth 400 something dollars. However, for those who want to feel a little bit fancy, for those who maybe like to get dressed up, have something a little special or a little nice, I understand how luxury beauty and purchasing products that match an identity that we either have or want can impact our beauty routines. And for those who actually have the money and the interest and the initiative or just the curiosity, these are the luxury products that I do recommend. And we are talking cruelty-free skinceutical options. We are talking products that have a very special spice in them that can cost up to $5,000 per pound. We are talking some insane shit. And before we even start to open up some of these packages, I do wanna make a disclaimer. You do not need to spend ridiculous amounts of money to have a good skincare routine. The price of a product does not indicate its quality or efficacy. But for this video, we are actually going to pay tribute to the products that might not be worth all of that money, but that I don't actually hate. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> this first one is such a shocker. This is a neck cream. And do you know what I hate almost as bad as eye creams? neck creams. And the reason why is because just like eye creams, neck creams are literally overpriced facial moisturizers, but because the demographic that is purchasing neck cream, usually women who are, you know, 40s, 50s and above, usually that demographic has more money. And so these brands charge you an arm and a leg. And usually the ingredients are not much different than what they have in their facial moisturizers, but they cost seven times the price. It is asinine. It is ridiculous. It is a shady marketing practice that I do not like nor endorse. But when it comes to neck creams, I actually have one that yes, is good. B, actually has ingredients to back it up. C, it's made by a doctor. And D, it actually do what we want it to. This neck cream is from Paracone MD. It's the Cold Plasma Plus neck and chest. And it actually has a SPF 25. SPF is your BFF. We know that if you are not using a sunscreen, all of the other things in your routine, pretty much throw them in the trash. They're going to sh it's not going to matter if you have the sun degrading your collagen and elastin 24 seven. Well, this product not only has some other exciting ingredients that we're gonna talk about in a second, but this has an SPF 25. So it's actually protecting this delicate area that often gets ignored and doesn't often get the sunscreen protection, but does get the sun exposure. And the ingredients in here actually help with the wrinkles, the fine lines, and even some of the you know sun damage that can happen from not protecting this area. Um, even though it is protected with a very fancy dress today. Do you like how I dressed up today for you? I even put on fake nails, but they're falling off every three seconds. So shows you how good I am at actually being a luxurious professional. <laughs> this formula is a nice whipped dimethicone texture, and it actually feels very nice and hydrating on the skin. It layers on nice. It doesn't seem to ball up, and it actually has some great ingredients in here. This formula has tetrapeptide 9, which is a formula that has been shown to actually go into the skin and help with protein formation. And that has actually been tested. Do we need more tests and studies? Absolutely. But for aging, wrinkled skin, especially if you're getting a little bit of of crepiness, it is a really good option. We also know that vitamin C is absolutely amazing for brightening the skin and helping with sun damage. This not only has vitamin C, but it has a vitamin C ester. This is oil soluble or lipid soluble, so it can actually penetrate deeper into the skin to do its work. And then combined with that sunscreen, this boosts it up. This also has that vitamin B3, our niacinamide, and it really is a wonderful formula that can help to lift and support the neck area. Now, could you use this on your face? Absolutely, this would make a great facial moisturizer. And if you do have a facial moisturizer that you really love and you find it lifts your face, you could definitely use that on your neck. But for someone who is looking for a specific neck cream that is actually scientifically validated that I do stand by, this 
would be it. This is also the least expensive one on the list. And at first I wasn't going to include it because I consider a luxury product something that is over $100. If it's under 100, it's prestige to me. And a brand that I consider luxury is one that has products that are predominantly over 100. And Paracone MD does have a lot of expensive products. So that's why this was included in here. This one is technically $89 hairs on Ulta. With tax, you're gonna be closer to like 96, 97. But seeing as neck creams, in my personal opinion, are a luxury, they are not a staple in a routine, especially because you can just take your moisturizer down here. This is a luxury product that I actually like and recommend for people when they say, I don't care about moisturizers, I want a dedicated neck cream. Next, I gotta talk about this. This has a story. This is strange. I work alongside and with doctors and dermatologists, as you know, if you've ever watched one of our reaction videos, and I'm good friends with a dermatologist who practices here in the Bay Area. And she is like the one dermatologist that I know that does not use skin ceuticals. And I was like, why? Many medical clinics do actually partner and are verified retailers of skin ceuticals. Like I get it, right? And she said to me, hyperpigmentation isn't like my number one issue. I like supporting small female founded brands. And I use this one from Renovat that has saffron. It's a serum that costs $135 and I spit my water out all over her kitchen and I was like $135 like I get that the skin ceuticals is 160 but like why why would you do that she's like here try it and she gave me some so this is actually a little sampler size that she put this in and holy guacamole when I tell you I was impressed by this I have been impressed I did not want to like this I wanted to try it and hate it and throw it back in her face because you know we can banter back and forth about things we do and don't like but my god this saffron serum is actually amazing and the science behind saffron is fascinating as well saffron is the most expensive spice in the entire world and i saw figures saying that one pound of saffron could cost anywhere from 500 to five thousand dollars and the reason why it's so difficult to harvest is because you have to pull it out from the middle of a flower it's very labor intensive and i'm pretty sure that the flowers only grow in specific areas and climates in the Middle East, and it's like really hard to harvest them. It is a very exclusive spice. And normally when you see saffron products, it's either extraordinarily diluted or they're not real saffron. And this brand, Ranavat, was actually created by a woman who has, I think she has two engineering degrees and like a pharmacology degree, and she actually cares about the cosmetic chemistry of products. And she put this in a serum that is meant for brightening and antioxidant boost, and you know, really just to be like a luxury skin option. And boy, <laughs> I wanted to hate this. I wanted to not like it. I literally have like one little drop left and I think that I am going to purchase the full size amount. I use this so sparingly because I cherish it. I think I am going to purchase $135 of a skincare bottle. I do have a budget for skincare that I set aside monthly, but uh, it's really hard to stay within those limits sometimes and $135 eats up a huge chunk of that. And I'm sorry, money doesn't grow on trees over here. Okay, we work hard. This is amazing. And what I do have is this. This was a gift. This is actually the resurfacing saffron mask and this actually has little flecks of saffron in it. You know what? Let's put some of this on our cheeks today, shall we? But the saffron in here is actually legit. It's by a female founded business who actually cares about the cosmetic manufacturing and support of her products and they actually do a really, really good job. Renovat's story is actually amazing. They're made in Los Angeles. You should really look this girl up and I think that her story is so unique and I appreciate, like I don't mind spending more money on something like that that I actually believe in. This saffron mask, I tried to get this for like 70 or 80 bucks because I didn't want to spend the whole 130. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go back because this serum was amazing. I wouldn't say that it is the best for hyperpigmentation. Again, this is definitely a luxury product, but it does have a ton of antioxidant benefits. It made my skin look and feel brighter. Did it feel plumper? Sure, but is that placebo effect? Because I knew I was using $135 serum that a trusted friend and dermatologist gave to me? Sure. But overall, the answer to this is yes. And I actually found some medical papers online talking about the benefits of saffron that have actually been studied with quantitative data. There's one specifically that was published in a journal of phytomedicine, and this spoke about the benefits of saffron for the nervous system. But there are certain studies and certain practitioners that say that these can also have antioxidant benefits topically. Now this study cited different studies on saffron, specifically saying that those studies have indicated that saffron has an anti-inflammatory, anti-atherosclerotic, and anti-genotoxic and cytotoxic activities. Wonderful also has a benefit of vitamin C. I'm just gonna leave this on my face because I freaking love this. And um, I think I'm gonna go pack and purchase the bigger one and apologize to my friend for spitting my water all over her kitchen countertop. This next luxury product is $118 of overpriced jojoba oil. And you know what? 
I f***ing love it. <laughs> is it overpriced? Sure, but does it do the job and is it actually a really good skincare product? Yes. This is from Audacite and this is Creme de la Nut. It's technically Creme de la Nut or something like that, but I'm gonna call it Creme de la Nut because why not? This is a lovely pink cream that you are meant to wear overnight and some of the main ingredients in here are our favorite, our beloved, our dear jojoba oil. And I think that that's why I love this product so much. It is super silky on the skin. It absorbs so well. It is this nice, almost like a liquid bubblegum texture that's not overly sticky. And it's also got vitamin C and ashwagandha in here. Ashwagandha is what's considered an adaptogen. And um, when taken orally, it can help with stress and stuff. But even on the skin, they cite phyto benefits. They cite a whole bunch of antioxidant benefits. And I do find that that is true. Now, Adacite is, again, one of those brands that is female founded. They're a small business. They do a lot of this natural marketing that I really don't get behind. But when it comes to just the products, these are good ones. And even the founder, I think her name was Valerie. She was struggling with cancer and she wanted to create products that made her feel safer She wanted to fight cancer and her wrinkles, I guess and that was really cool You know talk to an oncologist talk to your doctor about what products you should or shouldn't use if you are battling with cancer But her story is really wonderful and inspirational and I do love supporting small businesses when I can This one specifically also has hyaluronic acid. It has q10, which we know is ubiquinone This does have ashwagandha it has pomegranate and blue green algae and kelp blue green algae and kelp It's amazing for helping to renew and refresh the skin. It can help with some UV damage that may have been caused by ROS, these reactive oxygen species. A lot of this vitamin C can help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And this cream just absorbs so well into skin. And then overnight, it does feel really silky and soft. And you know, your skin doesn't feel overly stripped or overly oily when you wake up. And is it worth $118? No, I do kind of feel like it is slightly overpriced jojoba oil. The main ingredient is pomegranate fruit juice instead of water. So I, that's why it's also more expensive and naturally pink. Then we do have jojoba oil and grapeseed oil and glycerin. It is expensive for what it is, and if you have the money, go for it, but don't think that you need to buy this to have a good skincare routine. Jojoba oil from Trader Joe's is also really great, but if you're feeling fancy, and if you have extra money, or if you want to get someone a really nice gift, get them, creme de la nut. This is from a brand that I actually don't consider a luxury brand. This is a luxury product from a prestige brand. This is from Dermalogica, but they launched this Reawaken Phyto Firming Serum back in, I think it was like 2019, like end of 2019. And I have to admit, this is pretty good. It's 140 something dollars. It is really expensive. But if you're looking to spend your money on something, this is made for an anti-aging demographic. And you know, I've gone through two bottles of it and I do recommend it to others. It does seem to be nice and lifting. Now, is this a facelift in a bottle? Absolutely not. Don't confuse it as such and don't waste your money if that is what you are expecting. Literally go get a facelift or go get thread lifts. But if you are looking for just a plant based serum that makes you feel fancy that costs more than the other ones, this would be it. Dermalogica has been known to put a lot of plant actives in their products as well, and this definitely has a fragrance, so if you don't like fragrance, buyer beware. And this one does start off with a lot of the basic ingredients that we see in a lot of serums or in a lot of moisturizers. We have water, 1,2-hexandiol, we have glycol cross polymer, glycerin, hydrogenated oils, etc. But then as we get down the list a little bit further, we do have an interesting peptide. We have trifluoroacetyl tetrapeptide 2, as well as palmitol tetrapeptide 28. And then we do actually have turmeric in here. We do have some hydrated silica. It is a really good formula and it does have a lot of these plant phytoactives that can help to lift and rejuvenate the skin. This serum does feel a little bit more like an oil serum, so it actually helps to kind of lock in moisture and absorbs really nicely into the neck or the face. Not a facelift in a bottle, but these peptides can penetrate deeper into the skin because they are smaller. And then while they're there, they can hopefully do some cellular signaling to assist the skin in renewing better, to creating more of its own moisture barrier, to supporting it, etc. But again, there is lavender in here and a couple of other plant extracts, so just be aware of that if you are sensitive. Now this next one is actually KB beauty luxury and I love the aesthetics of this. This makes me so happy. This is the Troy peel, Troy whoa, 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 the peel. And it is awakening your skin from this brand, Trio Acure. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, educate me. This is a very luxurious kind of at-home exfoliation kit and it comes with two steps and boy are these fun. First off, it comes in this adorable little book. Like this is just the K-pop version of Harry Potter. I don't know. And then it comes with these two amazing products. Now I have been using these sparingly because this entire kit is like 230 something doll hairs. It is expensive, but if you love K-beauty and if you have a ton of money or you want to get a gift for someone else, 
this is it. Cause you know, I get it. Like we love a good ordinary inky list bubble product. But like if you give someone a gift of like an ordinary product and it's like $5, it's a great gift. I would be so happy to receive it. But would someone else be offended? I don't know. You need to find new friends if that's how your friends act. But if a friend or a family member is expecting an expensive gift, consider this an early luxury gift guide and save this or send it to yourself in the email in preparation for the holidays. Anyways, this right here is the moisturizing step. And this right here is the GNS Ampule and it actually has gold flecks in it. Now, what does gold do for skin? It can stabilize vitamin C. It's not really penetrating and doing anything to your face. It's more of a luxury thing. And actually, if you have a gold allergy, it could actually be very concerning. But if you don't have a gold allergy, this is essentially a moisturizing and hydrating K Beauty Peptide Serum with little gold flecks inside of it. And this stuff is just so freaking fun. These gold flecks are actually so beautiful. They go into the skin quite nicely. They actually kind of dissolve, which is nice. They say that they have 2000 parts per million of gold. So you're actually getting what you pay for. And I get why this is so expensive because you're paying for the gold flecks. But this serum is also really lightweight. It's moisturizing. It has a bunch of peptides, which again can hopefully help with cellular signaling, with rebuilding the skin barrier, adding brightening, maybe even some protein or collagen stabilization or formation. I absolutely love this and it claims to rejuvenate and I totally agree it does. Then it comes with this and this is what actually does the peeling. Now they say that this comes with spicules. I don't know what spicules are, but apparently they are these needle shaped elements on like a microscopic level that absorb into skin over time and they help the skin peel and rejuvenate and exfoliate from the inside out and they help with brightness and firming and texture and all this stuff. Now I feel like this is an experiment. I feel like we should put this under the microscope together and actually see what happens, but it's almost like this cool little pen and then you have this little press in dispenser on the side and then it comes out this very very nice luxurious cream it doesn't sting when you rub it into skin it doesn't feel like abrasive or grainy or anything like that which is why i kind of want to put it under a microscope and see what these little spikes look like they do say that it's herbal peeling over time and this actually does help to exfoliate the skin and give it a really beautiful glow don't go too intense like be aware k beauty in general has more soothing and like gentle formulas than a lot of other brands or a lot of other countries tend to produce. That's just a very big generalization. But this says it is a peel and fill cream. And does it fill up my scars? Does it plump the skin? Yes, it does. And I think we will have to put this under the microscope. Now, these are made to actually work together. You're supposed to like do the moisturizing hydration and then the peel. They are great. I need to continue using them. Is this going to be, you know, Botox in a bottle? No, it is absolutely not. But if you're looking for something fun, if you want to have a little bit of an adventure with your K-pop Harry Potter book, then feel feel free. Also, I think this thing just swallowed my nail. I don't know where my nail went. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go without it because it keeps on falling off. Boom, this one too. Now we also have this guy. Now this is expensive, but this is probably my favorite product out of all of these for my skin. I would actually say it's an elevated cruelty-free version of the SkinCeuticals. Now it is not identical because the SkinCeuticals vitamin C smells like hot dog water and it is like a clear liquidy serum. This one is actually the Triple C Plus Ferulic Brightening Complex at 20%. And boy, this is potent, this works, it is cruelty-free, it absorbs without irritating. This is good. And in my personal cruelty-free opinion, it is better than the SkinCeuticals, even though it's still 160 bucks. So it comes in at like $8 less than the SkinCeuticals. This has a vitamin C ester, which is actually more stable. It absorbs into the skin better and it is less irritating than other vitamin C, which I love. We have that ferulic acid, which is an amazing antioxidant and boosts this up as well as vitamin E, our tocopherol acetate, which we know and love for also boosting up vitamin C. And if you are looking for for a more luxury hyperpigmentation serum. If you want something that is brightening, if you want antioxidant support before you go out during the day, this is going to be it. Now, do you need this to have a good vitamin C in your routine? No. We've actually done an entire video on ranking the best and worst vitamin C serums. I would highly recommend you watch that because you don't have to spend this kind of money to get a good vitamin C. But if you want something a little bit extra and if you have the extra money or if you're looking you know, to switch it up from the SkinCeuticals, then this is going to be it. I love that this doesn't irritate my skin. It goes on really well. It absorbs quickly. It's also got jojoba oil in it, which you know that my personal skin 
loves. And this to me is like a better upgraded, elevated version of the SkinCeuticals Vitamin C. I love this so much. And again, who is this for? If you have the money, if you are someone who uses the SkinCeuticals and either you're looking to go cruelty free or you're just kind of done with SkinCeuticals and you want something that's going to do a little bit more or just to switch it up, this is it. Then what would a luxury skincare video be if we didn't have one of these fancy European brands that costs like 200 something dollars? This one is from a brand that again, I cannot pronounce. It's Chantessalie, Chantessel. This is the bio-lifting oil-free fluid with aromacology. And this has a whole bunch of amazing ingredients that are supposed to lift and be kind of oil-free for the face. This is a really cool oil-free fluid, but it actually goes onto the skin feeling like a moisturizing, like an absorbent primer. And I will say that this actually helps to lift and really support the skin. Now, what's unique about this is that they do have a bunch of flower ingredients in here, but the flower ingredients in here aren't just flower extracts like we normally see with most brands. They're actually flower waxes. So right here we have jasmine flower wax, we have spent grain flower wax, we have shea butter, we have root extracts, we have different phospholipids, we have glutamic acid, and then we actually have rubus ideacus leaf cell culture. I don't exactly know what that is, but when looking it up online, it is supposed to be firming and brightening and supportive to the skin. And cell cultures are A, really hard to get, and then B, really hard to process and formulate and stabilize. And I believe that that's why this does cost so much. Now this also has plankton extract and ascorbic acid and you know some vitamin C antioxidant benefits, but the plankton extract in here is also extraordinarily hard to get. And so the fact that they got that in here and then they stabilized it into this oil-free lifting formula, it is really good. If you could imagine like a very absorbent serum that almost feels like a makeup primer, but without the balling up or the pilling on the skin or the heavy feel, this is it. And if you are looking for something that is slightly lifting and really just gives glow to the face, again, this is a good one. Do you need to spend close to $300 on this for this Le Fluide Anti-Age Plus Mete Font? No, you do not. But is it a good one? Yes. And I would actually say probably the reason that I really love this is that I feel it's a little bit more suited towards oily skin types just because it is an oil-free formula. And when we look at the base of this, it does have flower water, it has glycerin, it has propendial, has a lot of great kind of moisturizing, hydrating ingredients that are good for oily prone skin. This is a really, really nice one that you could apply morning or evening. And when it comes to all luxury skincare, again, price does not indicate quality, but if you need something luxury for yourself, for someone else, for a treat, or if you are just curious as fuck, these are my recommendations and the things I actually like. Send this to a friend if you were shocked at the prices, because I don't think some people even realize how ridiculously expensive skincare can actually get. Or send it to someone if you wanna nonchalantly suggest a birthday or Christmas gift, or to yourself if you wanna get a gift for someone else. But also, there are so many products out there, like La Mer and SK2 that we could tear to shreds. And um, if you wanna hear me go off on some of my least favorite products, the comment section is basically one big request box. So um, I'm gonna leave that for you. It is at your disposal and I will be watching. Maybe there needs to be a market for luxury sunscreen. Maybe that way we could get some of the people who are like, I only use natural luxury products to wear sunscreen and protect their skin and actually see benefits. Anyways, I am going to go wash this beautiful saffron off my face. Always remember to stay hydrated, reapply your inexpensive SPF, and be beautiful both inside and out. I love you very much, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.